The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is all set for the launch of its heaviest communication satellite, uh, CMS-3, from Satish Thawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota today. The ISRO said 43.5 meter tall rocket has been fully assembled, integrated with satellite and moved to the second launch pad for final pre-launch checks. The liftoff is scheduled for 5.26 p.m. IST on November 2nd, that is today. The mission marks the fifth operational flight of the LVM-3, ISRO's last mission. Using this rocket was Chandrayaan-3 launch, which successfully landed near the lunar South Pole in 2023, making India the first country to achieve the feat. CMS-3 satellite, a multiband communication satellite, aims to provide services over a wide oceanic region, including the Indian landmass. The upcoming launch underscores ISRO's growing capability to deploy large and complex communication satellites using its own heavy lift vehicles. And DD India correspondent Jay Singh joins us live from Sri Harikota. Uh, Jay, what is the weather like today and all preparations in place for the historic launch? So, Bendu, the sky is clear and uh, the, the, the clouds are now dissipating and uh, all decks are getting cleared for the successful, another successful launch of LVM-3, India's Bahubali rocket, which is capable of lifting, uh, you know, satellites and payloads as heavy as more than four tons to geotransfer orbit. So, the 24-hour uh, countdown process sta started yesterday at 5.26 p.m., which is, you know, going on very smoothly without any hitch on a copybook style, like the propellant loading, like liquid fuel in the core stage or the second stage and the cryogenic stage, that is the upper stage, which are going on very uh, well. And uh, the system checks and rechecks and uh, verifications of the sensors are all happening at uh, well-determined pace. Right, and it's also uh, said to be on the heaviest uh, communication satellites. Can you tell us more about the importance and applications of the satellite? Well, uh, this uh, CMS-3 is meant for Indian Navy. Navy has <coughs> said in a release that uh, this will augment, bolster India's capacity for you know surveillance over with the vast Indian Ocean region where India has huge strategic importance. And uh, India's ships, uh, submarines hmm. and uh, aircraft can communicate with the, among each other and also with the stations on the shore for effective, seamless, you know, safe communication uh, using three bands, K band, uh, S band, C band and ultra high frequency. So this is one of the you know, major significance of CMS-03, which is a multi-band communication satellite. Uh, this is a replacement for GSAT-7 that was launched in 2013, which is aging. So uh, CMS-03 or GSAT, another name is GSAT-7R. This will replace, take over from the previous one. So this is going to be a shot in the arm for Indian Navy. Jessing, appreciate you joining us with those updates and details.